How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Off Season. Today I'm gonna to take you through my range session, what I'm working on and things I'm building into my swing. Very excited about how this range session went. I'm really starting to see a few things I've been working on really start to appear in the swing. I'm gonna take you through today how I go about my range sessions right now, what I'm working on and how I'm implementing it all. So first things first is what I'm working on in my range session and if you haven't seen my off season plan video, it's in the description below. But big focus for me is getting a big hip turn on the backswing and then firing through and getting my hips going and my legs going in the downswing. Being a weakness for me is to not have those legs fire at the way they should. So that's a huge focus. And I think in this rain session, we really made some good headway to make that happen. So let's dive into it. First thing you'll see on the ground here is I have alignment sticks. One is set up to the target and the other is set up perpendicular to show ball position. I have a bad habit of setting up too far open and then also having the ball position creep too far forward, which just creates a ton of problems. So this helps me stay militant on setup and takes that variable out of play so that I can focus on big hip turn and execution with the legs. Now, I just start off with a gap wedge and just, just start peppering some swings. One of the things you're gonna see a ton of throughout this range session is this motion right here. I am constantly rehearsing the feel of getting a big turn and then clearing that left hip, getting the legs going and firing through. And I start that very early in the range session, like working with the gap wedge just to get started. I like the gap wedge because it's not too much loft. It's also enough loft to just get the ball going. You don't have to swing too hard and you can clip it well, just get into a groove and get going. So that's what I'm doing here. Just feeling some swings out, getting a sense of the motion. Again, doing a lot of rehearsals, making sure nothing feels too funky, getting loose because it's also very cold out as you can see from the snow. And then as you can see here, start to ramp up the speed a little bit, looking really good. A big thing to see early on is the fact that I have this much hip turn right here. The fact that I have this much depth early is a great sign that the mobility and strength work I'm doing is starting to translate because I'm not even truly loose yet and I'm already seeing my body move the way I want. Now from here, I'll pepper in some nine irons, some eight irons, just to get the body moving. But we're gonna skip ahead and go straight to the four iron. The reason why I'll do the bulk of my range session when working on this particular skill with a four iron is because you can't cheat a four iron. I can save many irons with my hands or whatever with poor timing. I can, I can hit a pretty good shot. You can't fake a four iron. You have to line everything up it also forces me to push hard off my legs. If I want to launch a four iron like far and high, you have to do it right. So I try and get as quickly to the four iron as I can loose, and now we get rocking. So let's just get a swing here. I'm going to show you guys. Again, I'm, first thing I'm going to do is rehearse that motion and get a feel for that turn because I want a big, as, a, as big of a back swing turn as I can get. And that's a good... That's a good strike to start, no complaints. All right, let's skip ahead here. We've got some more balls. Take a look at this swing. Okay, so you're gonna see here, I'm gonna blow this one right. I'm gonna blow this one left. I'm gonna blow this one right. And this one is gonna end up left. Now what I'm doing here is I'm trying to calibrate some feels and some things I'm trying to understand about how I need to make this motion happen, right? The reason why, again, why I like the four iron is that I need everything to sync up correctly so that when I get into that side bend, the face is square, I'm pushing correctly, I'm exerting all my force out to the club head to launch the ball. I'm doing a lot of calibration because I've never had to turn this much before. I'm so used to cheating my turn. So if I cheated a little bit, it goes right. If I cheat my legs, it goes left. So I'm trying to find a sense of what is a full turn and what is getting my legs to fire, which you'll see in the next swing. When I get those two things to match up, we get perfect down the middle. And that's what that swing is right here. So I'm gonna log that. This is why I film my range sessions. This is why I actively am starting to even write notes because I there are little things I pick up from every range session that just kind of help check off boxes of things I can and can't do and I try and take all this data, understand why I can make certain swings and why I can't make certain swings, and then try and remove those bad habits entirely so we can move forward. All right, moving on to the next swing here. So now that I've done a bit of that calibration, I'm gonna do a ton of rehearsals now, trying to feel what I felt in that really good swing. 
And again, this is a good execution of that down the middle. Very happy. Love it. Here's another swing here. Perfect. So now we're starting to see more consistency through the range session as I'm hitting more shots the way I intend to hit them, which I'm cataloging in my brain exactly how that feels and why I'm doing what I'm doing right. The next thing I'll try and do here is actually walk into a bit of a pre-shot routine and try and see if I can now execute it almost feeling like it's a game time shot, right? I'm working on my aim, I'm working on my alignment. I'm aimed at this like little tree right out here and boom. So that one didn't push as hard on the left leg as I needed to, so that was a miss. So now we're gonna go through this swing. Again, going through my routine, I'm aimed at this tree right here, calibrating my feels, feeling the pressure in my feet, gonna pull it back and this is gonna go right. So now I know, didn't get a full, full turn on that last one and you see here, boom. This one's way, way better, more at my target. And if we look back at that swing, look at that full turn on that one. And that's why that worked. So now I'm, I'm making mental notes of what that turn feels like. What, is that, what does that feel like? Why did that go straight? And I'm trying to almost create a database of those feels so that I know I have to go to that endpoint before I can even start the downswing. And every time I go to there, which is what I've seen throughout this range session, I hit shots down the middle, which is what I want to see more of. So now, back to here. Again, another good one. This is another good shot. We're gonna skip ahead. Again, I'm rehearsing these feels, rehearsing these feels. Something I'm gonna constantly do, just trying to get myself to understand what that big turn feels like. And again, this is really good. Big athletic swing. I feel really good on that. If we skip forward, look at like, Look at that turn, just getting that hip just out there. That is so key. So next thing is I'm gonna show you guys a little face on view. So if I skip ahead here, pulling back, pulling back, pulling back, you're gonna see that left shoulder is getting pretty close to that right leg. I'm working on trying to get it even more towards that right leg. This is way better than where it was, but as I continue to work on this, I'm gonna see that that left shoulder go further, further, which is gonna unlock more of that turn. Then on the downswing here, you're seeing this left leg fire up, which was a problem I was having. Both my legs would collapse. So the fact that I'm seeing both of these work, I'm getting that push off the back leg, and this was a really good strike right here. Very happy with that. Um, I'll show you guys at full speed so you can get a sense of, of what it looks like. Perfect. All right, and then when we go back, and we look back at the swing, now that I've, again, feeling that bigger turn, feeling what that, that should feel like, also an adjustment I made is I started to see that I was getting too quick on the backswing, and so I slowed down relative to what I feel is slow to set that turn. And you're gonna see here, it's just a lot more even on the backswing than earlier in the range session, and crushed. Like, look how much slower and more controlled this tempo looks. Unreal. Start line's perfect, exactly where I wanna go. And then we just got one more swing here I wanna show you guys. And again, same thing, nice and slow on the back and just power right through, split the uprights, exactly how we want a four iron to go. All right, next thing I wanna show you guys is I actually ended up jumping into some drivers. I had no intention of jumping into drivers, but the four iron was feeling so good. Um, just to give you guys a, an idea, I don't know if you can see totally here. I've only had these grips for a couple weeks and I'm already wearing them out. Um, this is just on my four iron from the amount of reps I've gotten on this. So that's pretty funny to already be wearing out the grips. But again, that's just kind of that grind. Uh, but the four iron was feeling so good. I thought, okay, you know what? Let's hit a couple drivers and see if this technique in this push works with the driver as well. And Guys, this is this is wild. Look at look at these drivers. So this is first driver of the day, perfectly down my target line. Second driver here, perfectly down my target line. Launching a little low, but I'm okay with that. Just trying to find my spot. Again, exactly where I want to go, exactly where I'm aimed. And then this one was unreal. That was perfect. Recalibrated my feels there. Wanted to get a little more height. Wanted to, 
I knew I could get more push out of my body. And if you look back here, look at this. Look at that turn on the backswing with the driver. That is unreal for me to see. I have never seen myself with that much turn, okay? Here's a graphic of me from December 2021 20, versus this swing. And you're gonna see that is a massive difference in turn. So we're, we're more athletic, we're doing way more, and you just see the coil on this. Oh, like that is exactly, exactly what I wanna see out of my golf swing. And then here, we'll end it off with this, with this last driver. Again, I was just so pumped. Look at this. Like, I cannot ask for a better ball flight for what I want. And much less curve, start lines were exactly where I wanted them. And it was also a good test too because I took away my alignment sticks because I just wanted to see if I kind of free formed it, can I stick to those principles, can I swing through it and not cheat and open up and creep the ball forward. And, and these ended up exactly. And I'm just seeing here, oh, that backswing tempo, everything, it just works perfect. So, so excited with how this range session went. Well, that kind of gives you guys some insight as to how I structure my range sessions right now, what I'm working on, and how I'm trying very hard to implement a few things into my game. I'm very encouraged by what I've seen and what I'm doing in the gym and seeing how it's translating to my practice sessions. This is great. This is exactly what we need to be seeing. I'm just so excited to see what two weeks from now of continuing to put in this work, what a range session can look like. And we'll do follow-ups along the way to show you guys how this path of getting more hip turn and more push, this is what's ultimately gonna make my swing ultra competitive and play golf the way I envision I can. Seeing this is a good indication that I'm actually on that path. So huge, huge to be here. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Join me on my off season journey to become a pro golfer. And I will catch you on the next one. Peace.